Oh my god, I know she says. They're so big. What the fuck? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Lauren. I do RAM content on my channel whenever I can. So I recently got a new laptop. I got the MacBook Pro. So right now I'm filming on the laptop because I found out that CapCut was in the App Store on this laptop. So I wanted to try editing and filming a video on a laptop so I know that I can do this instead of doing it on my phone. So hi from my laptop guys. So I asked you guys on my community tab what you wanted to see and I threw out some video ideas that I had been having over the past month which yes guys I know I haven't uploaded in a month and mainly it's for personal reasons I really don't want to get into at the moment. Um, probably in the future I'll get into it but at the moment not really. So. I asked you guys what you guys wanted to see and so far the Lifetime movie reaction and the why I will never read a Colleen Hoover book are tied at the moment and because I wanted to try filming on my laptop I decided to do the Colleen Hoover video first because I want to see how I can edit and everything like that so we're going to get started with that video. Now before we get started I do want to say that there this is no hate to Colleen Hoover this is no hate to anybody who reads her books this is gonna be an opinion video on why I personally will never read her books and why I kind of don't like her as an author based on what I've seen on the internet and like I said I have never read any of her books so I'm going based on what I've seen on the internet and what has prompted me to not read her books so without further ado, let's get started into the video. Okay, so I took some notes. I took notes for this video and I went based on what I saw a lot on TikTok. So for those of you guys who don't know, Colleen Hoover is an author who is mainly known on Book Talk. Book Talk is like the book section of TikTok and I've heard of some of her books. Her books are like thrown all over the place on Book Talk. And the main book she is associated with is It Ends With Us. That's like her most popular book. I've seen people read at my school. I personally will never read it. And when I went to Barnes and Nobles to go buy some books. So when I was there, I passed by a table full of Colleen Hoover books. And I just like, I, I cringed. I didn't, I don't like Colleen Hoover as an author and every time I go to Walmart to go look for books also I see a whole bunch of Colleen Hoover books and I always tell my sister we do not stand her in this household and I'm about to get into why I don't stand her in this household. First off I think most people know about this from last year and it is her son sexually assaulted someone and she defended him. For those of you guys who didn't know that, now you do. Now you know about that. So anyways, last February 2022, um, a girl came out saying that when she was 16 or 17, Colleen Hoover's then 21-year-old son sexually assaulted her. And you want to know what Colleen Hoover did? She defended her son and blocked the girl when the girl went to talk to Colleen Hoover on Instagram asking for her help yeah and apparently a big thing I know from a lot of people who've read Colleen Hoover books is that a lot of her books talk about sexual assault and just abuse in general a and you all see a little connection here because I see the connection here it's a little weird but I see something there apparently back in December she, Colleen Hoover, privately cleared the air saying that the whole thing, the whole thing with the girl was a misunderstanding. I don't, take it, what, take it as you will. I don't know how to react to that because it's like, when someone comes to you about something like that, I think it needs to be taken seriously, for sure. And... I think that did a lot of damage to her as an author, especially how she reacted. But take that as you will, because I know I'm taking it as I will, and I just see that as completely bad and stuff. Also, uh, off topic question, off topic thing. Uh, I got this bracelet, TJ Maxx. It's a Van Cleef dupe bracelet. So, anyways, back to the video. Um, another thing. So, her most popular book, it ends with us. 
Recently, I think like earlier in January, Colleen Hoover was gonna come out with a coloring book for It Ends With Us. Yes, and I'd like to read to you all what Ends With Us has in its book. Listen, listen to what it says. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover is the story of a woman's struggle to break the cycle of abuse and rise above to create a safe life not only for herself but for her child. And she wanted to make a coloring book about that. A coloring book. Guys, I don't know, but that was just completely poor taste. Like, what are you gonna color? What are you gonna color? Anyway, so... I don't understand why that got a coloring book. I don't understand why it was appropriate for it to get a coloring book. Also, I heard in that book, Ellen DeGeneres makes an appearance. Remember that time I showed up with just panties under my coat? And someone explained to me why Ellen DeGeneres makes an appearance in there. I also saw this one TikTok where it was a screenshot of a book, like a part of the book, and it said this, and I'm gonna read it to you all right now. Thank you for this baby, she says from the back seat. He is beautiful. By the way, I don't know what book this is from, so I laugh. You're responsible for the beautiful part, Rachel. The only thing he got from me was his balls. She laughs, she laughs hard. Oh my God, I know, she says. They're so, They're big. so big. What the fuck? Who approved of that sentence? I would like to know because I've had my fair share of reading Wattpad. I'm gonna tell that to you all right now. I've had my fair share of reading Wattpad and I have never in my three years, I think, my three years of being on that app, I have never seen a line as cringy as what I just read to you all right now. Okay, let's get this over with. Three little kittens love to play. They had fun in the sun all day. Then their mother came out and said, time for kittens to go to bed. Wow, this is garbage. You actually like this? Keep reading. <sighs> this is literature? A two-year-old could have written this. And Wattpad has some cringy books. You all can agree with me there. For those of you guys who have been on Wattpad, Wattpad has some cringy ass books. But I've never seen such a line that has made me cringe so hard than this one. I just gotta wonder what goes on in somebody's mind to write that particular sentence about a child. Going back to Colleen Hoover's books, I've heard from several people on TikTok also say that because her books talk about abuse, there is no trigger warning for it or no content warning for the content of the books, right? And apparently the reason for that is because it gives too much away. Take that also as you will. I personally think that for certain topics like of uh, sexual assault, possible like miscarriages or anything like that, I feel like certain topics should be given a content warning because it can be triggering to some people. And I think as an author for if you're going to write about something like this, then put something out there just in case. It's like for certain shows, like for example, Euphoria would put something out before the episode or even 13 reasons why I would do the same thing right but I think in the case of that you need regardless on if it gives too much away you should put a content warning there just so people know what they're getting themselves into I had heard that Colleen Hoover books had abuse in them particularly it ends with us but I didn't know that the majority of the books had some type of, of abuse with it I didn't know that so that's pretty interesting for me to know and it's given me another reason why I probably won't read one of the books because I'm not really a big fan of certain stuff like that like anything that's like not like not consensual or anything like that I'm very I'm very like I, I can't read that I'm sorry there's something about it that I just can't you know it just makes me uncomfortable I think I have proven my point on why I will never read a Colleen Hoover book I hope you all enjoyed. For those of you guys watching who are fans of Colleen Hoover, please do not come for my ass. I I promise you all this is just my opinion. I'm not bashing any of you all. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Comment down below what else you guys want me to talk about on my channel. 
Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will try to make content as much as I can. Like I said, I am dealing with some issues right now. So I'm trying to take the time to work on it. I'm also doing journaling, which I really love. Uh, where's my journal? So like I've shown you guys my journal. Um, I really like how it's coming out. And that's been something that's been getting my mind off, off things as well as reading. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, stay safe. Stay warm because I know it's been getting really cold. And I'll see you guys next time on my channel. Bye, guys.